Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So I am back to do another collective reading. This one is going to be mostly focusing on the Divine Masculine, all right, because I did a separate reading earlier this week, I think it was on Monday, which was specifically for the Divine Feminines, all right? So I will also be including that link in the description box um, for those of you who might not have seen that if you're interested, because I do feel like the most important messages, they do come through when we are tapping into messages for the Divine Feminine, all right? Because that's where you can get some guidance, that's where you can get some insights um, about the journey, and it can help you to either, you know, move along, cope with certain things, and that can bring you closer to union within your own self as well as with your Divine Counterpart, all right? So, yeah, um, I always find it interesting that videos that are specific for Divine Feminines, they always have less, less views, but... Um, but yeah, I can understand that as well. I do understand that. All right, so let's see. Let's get into the reading. Um, it is general, okay? So not every reading can always resonate for everybody, all right, every single time. So do keep that in mind. It might be your situation and it might not be. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see. What is going on with the masculines? All right, first card out, we have invisible. Ooh, okay. So actually what I'm getting with this is that the masculine is trying to be invisible in the sense of kind of trying to kind of disappear. So this, for some of you, this could definitely be that the masculine has taken a step back, um, possibly just being a little bit more discreet, or for others of you, it's that the masculine is, is a little bit like in hiding. Um, so there might be some ghosting here or just kind of not being very responsive if you are in communication okay it's like I'm, I'm getting a bit of vulnerability with this as well there's some vulnerability and so it's like the masculine is trying to become a little bit invisible holding back not being very transparent let's see what else all right we have a journey okay i will get just a few more All right, and we have <clears throat> family, pause, and big dreams. All right, okay, so a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, for some of these masculines, this could even be very, very literal, like actually taking a trip, taking a journey, possibly even moving locations. It could be just about anything. But, and for some of them, you know, possibly with their family or moving away from, from family. All right, because we also have the pause card here. So it's almost like, especially together with this invisible card and the pause in combination, that it's definitely taking a step back. And that's mostly what I am actually getting with this journey card. So it feels like they're kind of taking a journey within, like with their own self. And it just feels like they are in their own world. Like they have just kind of checked out. That's what I'm getting. It's a checked out kind of feeling. Um, and it's not just from the Divine Feminine, that's the thing. It's from, from their family as well. So family could be depending, right? Because maybe some masculines don't have very close family. Just saying, it could just be, you know, whatever their closer circle of friends are or whoever is in their environment. It's like the masculine has checked out at the moment. Um, yeah, big dreams. There's, there's a lot of dreaming during this time period a lot of dreaming, having visions. And I feel like it's a little bit confusing for them at the moment, actually. So we'll see more in just a sec when we get into the tarot. But pretty much taking a pause, I feel like this Big Dreams is also about trying to figure out what it is that they want. What is it? What was their dream? And are they there? Have they reached that? <clears throat> it's like they're at this point in their life right now where it's like, I should have had some of my dreams fulfilled and it's like questioning whether that has happened or not and taking just taking a look taking a step back pa pressing pause from everything to kind of really um analyze <clears throat> where they stand currently in terms of the dreams that they had 
All right, so let's see. Let's get some tarot. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. So it's actually in this order. Okay. Yeah, so this is just what's going on with them overall. Um, not feeling happy, feeling like there is love is missing. Love is missing from their life. There's no fulfillment, right? The dreams that they had when it came to, you know, feeling fulfilled from the inside, that has not been met. And that's why the Ten of Cups is in reverse, understanding that they are not in a happy place and that this is actually weighing really, really heavy on them. I feel like this is an energy that they want to release. That's why they're taking that pause. What they also want to release is this Five of Swords energy, which is all about... Um, <clears throat> Um, the, the way I always see this is fighting the wrong battle. Like what they have been doing up until this point has not been serving them. Like, yeah, maybe they were winning in one aspect. Like, you know, maybe, um, for example, they were gaining status or, you know, holding on to certain things that satisfy their ego. But the five of swords, it's deceptive. It's like, it can feel like you're winning when actually at the end of the day, you're at a loss. Um, this is also about other people having been manipulative in their lives as well, or still, still being manipulative in their lives. And this is something again, that is creating a lot of heaviness for them. It's, it's very exhausting. It's very tiring. It's making them feel like, like a sense of responsibility where they're actually, it's not their responsibility. It's their responsibility to do something about it. Yes but it's creating a false sense of responsibility towards others where there isn't any. So I hope that makes sense. And this could definitely be <clears throat> um, having to face some deceptive or manipulative behaviors from other people, which is also adding up to this overall sense of, I am not happy, something is missing, I am not fulfilled. Um, so we will clarify. Yeah, actually, let's clarify. Now. I kind of feel like clarifying these now. All right, so. So we have the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so again, it's like this um, <clears throat> deceptive type of an energy showing up together with the Knight of Cups. So it's like, where where was it that the masculine was being this Knight of Cups? Where is it that the masculine was offering their cup of love? Wherever that is, whatever it is that they were after. All right, when it comes to when it comes to love or romance, it was not honest. It was not honest. So that is what is weighing really heavy on them. I also feel like this is another person here. Again, um, it's like a double message coming through. <clears throat> this is another person here for some of them. Um, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, okay? But there is another person involved here that is actually not being um, honest, that is being deceptive. And this is actually, in some way, this is serving as a trigger to the masculine to understand the overall feeling of their life and where they are right now. <clears throat> again, especially in terms of their big dreams. So again, and for a lot of them, this is going to be family and that could be why we have the family card, right? That showed up. So there's a lot of, um, yeah, I feel it's like dubious behavior, <laughs> basically, that is showing up from someone else towards the masculine and that is serving as a trigger for them helping them to see how their life right now it's not it's not it's not where they would have wanted to be by this point in time all right so let's <clears throat> let's get a little more specific for their energy towards their feminine so let's see
All right, seven of cups in reverse, the three of cups and the five of cups in reverse. All right, so all cups. All right, masculines, what's going on here? <clears throat> this masculine is, um, wow, they're thinking about the past. They're thinking about the past with their feminine, all right? Um, because for most of you, there has been a past, okay? If not, um, hold on, another message might come through as well with this, all right? Um, but the first message I'm getting here is that the masculine is thinking about the past and what that was like with their feminine, thinking about the times that were actually pretty happy and thinking how light it felt as in as compared to this heaviness that they're feeling currently, all right, with that Ten of Wands. So I do feel like there's this comparison that's happening <clears throat> as they are analyzing what their dreams were, where they are, what they could have had, what they um, now have, what they don't have, all of that. So yes, there is, I, I'm actually getting with the Seven of Cups in reverse, there is still some cloudiness there, but it's like the clouds are kind of parting and what they're able to see through all of this like cloudiness or through the mist of everything that's happening right now is that <clears throat> toward, with their feminine, there was this point in time that was very, very happy. It felt light. It felt good. It felt um, festive almost. It's almost feeling fantasy-like. And it's almost like they're coming, um, this Five of Cups, I will clarify. Um, there's like this deep longing for it, a deep longing. There's some sadness with this. Almost like not wanting to let that go. It's like this, this um, like imagery. That's what it's coming in as. It's like imagery has come into their minds of like a fantasy with their feminine. And there's both emotions here. There's both that happiness, like, like the nostalgia of happy memories or of a happy fantasy of what this could be. But then at the same time, there's also sadness. So let's uh, clarify a little bit. So the first, let me just move these here. There's no reason for them to be so far away from, from you. <laughs> All right, so the first clarifier that came through, and I'm surprised we only got one, is the Five of Swords. So Spirit really wants to stress this point here. Um, what it is that they are seeing, okay, is also how they have played their own role in being either deceptive or in fighting that wrong battle, as I'm saying. Okay, like that... It's like the clouds are parting and they're able to see that a little bit more clearly. Where is it that they have been? Um, I don't even want to say manipulative, even though I know for some of them they have been. It's like this is coming through more as being able to see where is it that what, what, what I was fighting for. I, it, I thought that that's what was going to fulfill me, but it's not. I actually even feel like at the moment, you know, whatever these realizations are, if you are in contact, the masculine is not really speaking about this. They're not really communicating this to you. I feel like there's some deceptiveness here. Um, and that's because it, it's almost coming in as a little bit of either embarrassment or just feeling, feeling some guilt about that, which makes it difficult for them to, to speak about it. Let me see what's here. Cuffs. All right, yeah, we have the world in reverse and the four of cups. Yeah, so this this time period or this fantasy or whatever this three of cups is for each of you, where the masculine is feeling like, you know, this this was something so enjoyable or this could be this could be enjoyable and pleasurable, that's unfinished. We have unfinished business here. We have unfinished business here and they're feeling like there's some discontentment around the fact that it's like it never completed, that was never finished. Something that the two of you started together. So there's some, it's like feeling a sense of disappointment that this was never, that this was never completed. 
or it never got to, you know, some kind of a um, end goal, so to speak. Some of them are wondering whether they will even have that opportunity. Again, even if it's even if it's their decision, even if it's um, in their hands, like for example, if the feminine, um, if you've made your wishes known and that you are open to this connection and so it's in their hands, they're still not sure if it can actually, um, if it can actually happen at the moment. I'm even getting, for some of you who are, Some of you who are in contact, I feel like this might actually be a little bit of a lighter period, um, meaning that it's interesting the way this is coming through, and I feel like it's going to be for a specific group of you. Things just feel light. It's almost like, okay, not really talking about what the issues are, not really talking about what the deeper problem is, just kind of going with the flow. Um, still the masculine taking a step back, still it's like there's a pause, but there, the pause could even be when it comes to what is, um, what are the triggers, like taking a pause from the triggers and just kind of going with the flow, okay? That's going to be for some of you, but that's on the masculine side, all right? For the feminine, it could completely be a different story. It really depends. So let's see here. So clarifying the five of cups in reverse, we have the king of cups and the five of pentacles. See, there's that sense of loss. There's that sense of loss again, all right? Um, there's a lot of love here, okay? This masculine is feeling a lot of love, especially when it comes to the past. I feel like there's a lot of emphasis here on the past, thinking about how the emotions that were there at some point that were more easily acceptable back then than they are currently. And there's a sense of regret for having allowed that to, to fade. Or possibly for even for rejection, for having rejected um, their feminine in the past. Knowing that really, right, there's this um, regret when they, when they think about the past concerning, well, you know, I had this love and now I don't. It was basically what this is, it's rejecting love. So, I mean, that's still happening, right? If you're, if the masculine is um, still not open to the feminine, a part of that is the fact that the masculine, yes, on some level is rejecting love at the moment. And of course that's because they have to you know, fully work on their own self-love first in order to be able to be open to the love with their divine counterpart. But there's a lot of nostalgia for that. Feeling like that's not in their life and understanding that that's why they're in this Ten of Cups in reverse because they left love out in the cold, basically. So, yeah, it, it feels like they're taking a step back to really kind of, because this is, it's harsh, okay? It's a little harsh to, when you come to this realization that, that you've been deceiving your own self, that basically everything you were doing, trying to have this Ten of Cups, it actually led you in the opposite direction. It actually led you to having the Ten of Cups in reverse, to not having love, because you wanted to also have other things. And so you left love out in the cold. So basically this is something that they are um, becoming a little bit more clear about. Again, I do feel like there's someone else here that is triggering, triggering for them, which is helping them to see that. And whoever that is, I mean, is, is it's like, you know, it, it appears on the surface like this person is actually manipulating them or deceiving them or, you know, just doing something, but that it's actually serving a very high purpose, all right? So whoever that person is or people, it's actually serving for the masculine's 
higher good so that they can see what it is that they have been doing themselves. All right, so let's actually take a look at what might be coming up. <clears throat> in the next week or two. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands, the Hanging Man in Reverse, and the Four of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so it feels like there's still a little bit of that waiting. Um, not, it's not just waiting, all right? With this Three of Wands, it's having taken that step back. I feel like the masculine at the moment is um, like living in their own little world. That's how the masculine is appearing. They're living in their own little world. And it could even, um, from the outside, it could look like this person is just um, either <laughs> delusional or just having illusions or just um, acting like everything is normal, acting like everything is just dandy and great and, you know, fine. But they also appear detached. That's just what I'm getting. And I feel like that is actually going to continue on. But beneath that, Beneath that, there is something way more significant that is happening here because this is this is their lesson, okay, during this time period is to see where is it that they have been this five of swords themselves through getting triggered by somebody else or something else in their life. Something is happening. It doesn't have to be a person. Something is happening that is really making this more clear to them, okay, and it could be just about anything. Um, so yeah, they're still, they're still holding back. They're still holding back as well from, from, I feel like it's from everybody, from their family, from their environment, as well as from their feminine. So even if you are in contact, it could be what I was saying before, like things just appearing more light, but that's because they're avoiding talking about, right? They're hiding invisible, right? Pause. The deeper issues that are happening. They're just trying to keep things light as they are processing this five of swords energy this deceit this um could even be people pleasing for some of them so and what this is actually it's um it's kind of keeping them in this state where they might feel a little bit indifferent that's what i'm talking about like um we're just oblivious like to everything i feel like that's what, how the masculine is going to be coming across and that's pretty much yeah how it's going to be for like the next week or so so let's see anything anything else that wants to come through for maybe more specifically for their actions or attitude or anything towards their feminine coming up Ooh. okay so i gotta call it as i see it We have the Sun in reverse, the King of Cups in reverse, and the Magician in reverse. All right, yeah, they're still going to be in this um, paused kind of a state, okay, for at least another week, um, possibly more um, for some of you. It really depends. But what this is actually leading the masculine towards, because they're beginning to see things from a different perspective, um, it's going to lead to a little bit of a depression. So yeah, they might be kind of feeling this light, more light energy currently, but it's moving them towards towards a depression where it's, this is also going to be serving for them because they have to fully experience this 10 of cups in reverse, right? Because sometimes, you know, we can be unhappy, but we cover it up, right? We have self-defense mechanisms where we can actually convince ourselves that everything is fine. So that's kind of though it, it's it's bubbling up for them for the masculines. It's like peeping through that I'm not happy. Like something just keeps nudging them, and so that's going to build until they really feel the um, full extent of that. And it's going to create a lot of emotional instability. So if you are in contact, then you know this could be some um, just to kind of be aware of that. Don't like, don't be surprised if your masculine is just appearing to be all over the place emotionally. And because of that, you know, they, they might be 
um, just doing things that you normally wouldn't expect from them, okay, for some of you. For others of them, it's just really taking a step back, all right, just really being passive and not not really doing anything. I feel like this actually, that invisible and that pause, it's actually going to um, intensify. Um, so yeah, that's, that is what is coming up. But of course, you know, after that, then, you know, other things happen. Other things happen. This is something that is needed. So what I will do, I'm going to get just any oracle, final oracle messages that want to come through. All right, so let's see. For the feminines watching this, that this may have resonated for. All right, we have co-create and we have the fates. Yeah, so, you know, everything that is happening right now, it's divinely orchestrated, all right? It's being co-created by the divine as well as your higher self and the masculine's higher self, okay? There's, there's co-creating things right now. This is um, a confirmation that things are happening in the way that they were meant to, all right? The fates. This is co-create and the fates. This is completely... <laughs> something that is divinely orchestrated, okay? Things are going according to plan for your highest good, for your masculine's highest good, and for the two of you mutually together. Definitely feeling like, you know, this is also, this is a connection where the two of you are meant to create together. It's part of the soul contract. It's part of um, your soul growth for this incarnation as well. So yeah, that was a little 5D-ish, but um, we'll get we'll get a couple more. Let's see. All right, and we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so for some of you, that might be a message that you need to hear during this point in time if you're not feeling very safe or if you have any kind of um, concerns or anxiety about you, about yourself or about um, your own family or loved ones. But I'm also getting that this is for the masculine. and this is something also that they're learning. Um, and it could be for different reasons. There are like a, a billion <laughs> examples I could give, um, but it's okay. All right, where they are learning this, that they are safe. They are safe no matter what they do. Um, their loved ones are safe as long as they, you know, if they follow this path, even if it feels scary to them, they are safe. Everybody is safe here. Okay, so I will get one last message. Anything that wants to come through from the Divine Masculine's higher self to their feminine. All right, and we have turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. All right, first of all, is that not what I was just <laughs> saying throughout this reading? Especially in the beginning, this is what the Massillons are doing, okay? So that's confirmation. The Massillons are actually going back in time for those of you who have had um, a relationship together. And they're reflecting back on the time when there was love between the two of you that was apparent and when things were feeling very light and beautiful. And for some reason, the masculine's higher self is asking you to do the same, okay? And that doesn't mean for you to stay stuck on this or to become dependent um, or be attached to, to a union energy or anything like that. But sometimes when you go back and you think about all the positives, it can be very cathartic or it can be very healing for you for whatever reason. For some of you, it might be triggering, but that's something... If you're triggered, there's a reason for it. That means there's something there that you need to see about yourself. For others of you, it might just bring you um, more um, to a place of be feeling centered or um, opening your heart chakra, all right? Because you are experiencing that love and knowing that that love that you share with your divine counterpart, it's always going to be there, regardless of whether you are in contact at the moment or not. So there's a reason for this, all right? So turn on your heart light, reflect on a time when you experienced love. 
All right, guys, that is it for today. Um, I hope this resonated. Definitely let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if it did. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.